¿Querés aprender a hacer esta pizza con el mismísimo fundador de los UNI? Quédate viendo el video. Guten Morgen, everyone. I am here with Christian, the founder of Uni Ovens, and I'm one of the ambassadors, of course, and we'll be baking together pizza. So, I've, I've been wondering all the time, how did you come up with the idea of making an Italian pizza oven here in yes. Scotland? Here in That's Scotland. Inter very interesting. Yeah, Tell me. so the story goes back all the way uh, to sort of 2010. Uh, my wife and I just got married. Mm -hmm. and I got really into making pizza. So I started making pizza at home, learning from scratch. My mom had, had run a bakery back in the 90s, so baking and kind of food and cooking was all a big part of my childhood growing up. But you have but no Italian blood. No, it's uh, not that I know <laughs> of. I've not done like a genetic test, but uh, Finland's quite an isolated. Ah, <laughs> so, so you're Finnish? I'm from Finland originally. Oh, originally from Finland in yeah. Scotland making Pizza, via, via Kent and London, so I've lived oh. in the UK for mm -hmm. about 20 years, ah, okay. just over 10, 20 years. And we're living in London, uh, uh, Drina, my wife's pregnant with our first son, and Pizza Fridays, Pizza Saturdays, and Pizza Sundays became Classic. a thing, thing in our house, so I started making and started wanting to get better and better at this process of making mm -hmm. pizza. About that time, how did you bake in the regular so oven? Just look at recipes from the internet and we have this IKEA domestic uh, ah, electric oven okay. in our rented rented house and mm -hmm. uh, uh, so you obviously you're gonna hit the ceiling with it yeah There's only so much you can do with a traditional like a domestic oven so I started looking into what what is the next step from this like okay I've got my dough here I've got my ingredients really well down really well so what's the next step and one obvious step would be to get it like a traditional Italian oven mm -hmm. Um, I didn't have that much money at the time. So yeah. Ah. It wasn't really <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'll just spend two thousand pounds on a yeah. big oven for our garden. It wasn't really, really, a, really an option. So yeah, I started looking around. That is there anyone who's making a a, um, a this compact yeah. kind of portable oven that I could have in my garden? And if I moved to another new place, I could bring it with me. Or visit some but friends it, too. Yeah, or visit two friends, take it to a park or anything. Yeah. I couldn't find anything. Mm. So it was quite. Quite, uh, quite shocked by the fact that no one yeah. had thought of this before. And at that point, I was starting to think that well, if I if I'd like one, I'm sure there might be other people who'd like this as well. So I decided to start developing from the ground up, and uh, uh, that's that's the very sort of beginning of it. Just mm -hmm. wanting to make a product for myself to make great pizza at home. And you still have that prototype, first prototype, I think so. So, <laughs> you know what, the very, very first sort of proof of concept prototype was made from uh, concrete blocks, these aerated ah. concrete blocks, because you could saw them with a hand saw and put them together, and it was really just to try the concept of making something very yeah. small. More. Uh, Hot. And then after mm. that, uh, I was using, I used to uh, work with a metal welder down the road who mm. can put together those simple simple prototypes for me. Yeah. And yeah, that's I don't have sadly I don't we've moved like three times since oh. time, so I've not been able to carry those with me. Uh, maybe you could uh, do again this first prototype now for yeah, everyone. I'll <laughs> send in for the video and I'll send a photo of that you can cut it in. Uh, but yeah we'll need to make like a replica of the original. <laughs> so well Uni was a success and then you started to grow yeah, fast. And, so Uni was one of these kind of like we like to like to say that it's it's almost like a overnight success ten years in the making. Like mm -hmm. we've been working at this for a really really long time. I mean, 2011 is when I started working on the project myself, and it's been it's been successful. It's been growing every year. We've been profitable every year, but it's been very gradual, a mm -hmm. lot of hard work, constantly pushing the. Pushing what we what we can do with our products and constantly pushing the product innovation and product engineering forward. So and also the design, the design's really uh, yeah very Finnish. Now I understand yeah. why. Yeah. And uni, what does it mean? If something in Finnish, no, it's yeah. So ah. uni, uni, the name is actually from Finnish. The ah. original spelling was U U N I, ah. uh, which is pronounced in Finnish uni, uni. Um, and that means uh, that means oven. Ah, so it was really kind of neat, neat, and we kind of wanted a word that doesn't really for well, anyone outside of Finland doesn't really mean anything. So it becomes almost like uh, as part of part of the product itself mm -hmm. without pointing it. Oh, we made a we didn't want to call it 
it's a portable pizza oven. Yeah. Uh, or something too obvious. Uh, yeah. So that's that's where the name comes. This is funny because in Finland everyone pronounces it no. on oni. Oni. Oh, well. Spanish so, also Spanish. oni. Oh, but okay. when you say a lot of the time repeat yeah. uni uni uni, then they yeah. understand. But if you read in Spanish, yeah. it's oh oh oni oni. Well, then you start growing, and now you have yeah. this huge company, which is a worldwide company. Yeah, so it's it's been a crazy, crazy journey. There, especially the, the sort of last three years have been just incredible growth for us. So we got the company ready to 2019 to a point where the products are ready to really get into the sort of uh, sort of the mass mass market. We were mm -hmm. really all previous customers and all the customers along the ride from there. Before then, we were more like early adopters, people who were really keen on trying something new you know, that hadn't existed before. And in 2019 and onwards, we were ready to kind of take on, take on the sort of bigger retailers. And, and I mean, I like to use this as a reference. Like, I, I wanted my mother-in-law to be able to use one of our products. Okay. So I think we got to that point then. And, and then, of course, the pandemic happened. And yeah. The whole world is suddenly at home baking and pizza. baking because and pizza baking. was already something international and yeah. everyone wants you to bake pizza at home and talking about Absolutely. pizza why don't we start yeah. baking pizza that's, that's why you're here no? Excellent. Excellent. so you have here some uh, dough balls it's, that it's, you made it made them by yourself right <laughs> with your secret formula these are secret <laughs> formula uh, can you tell us just a little bit how how did you what what so, is your formula so and I, do you have an app so oh, we have fun. yeah so i actually so there are there's a there's a ton of recipes online for pizza dough and what i do actually is every time i use our use our uni app mm -hmm. which uh which builds the recipe for you so you can put in your, you can download for free you can download for it for android free, and iphone android or iphone and all you have to do is you put in how many dough balls you want how mm -hmm. what weight they want what weight you want them to be and then how long do you want to prove them, yeah. prove it for? And it basically calculates all the... It all depends the on how for. hungry you are. If you want exactly, to do it in, yeah. in a few hours or maybe in two days. It's, it's super good because you can so quickly get in. Like we've got some friends coming in on Saturday. I can just put in, uh -huh. hey, we're 10, 10 dough balls. We want seven, 275 for the yeah. uh, for the dough ball. And it just gives me the rest. Yeah, that's a small dough ball. So 275 is almost like a Neapolitan, Neapolitan way. Sort of, yeah, yeah. So sort of you're getting into sort of the 12 inch. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 inch uh, kind of range here so mm -hmm. here so you know i want to talk through my my technique of this this is i have not Red been thing. this is my technique for stretching so i start with a dough ball on the board here mm -hmm. trying to keep the cornicione cornicione there and establishing that at this stage how do you say cornicione in finnish <laughs> is there a word <laughs> I think we could translate it, or we could pronounce it Cornicione. Cornicione. Ah. Cornicione. Or ah. we uh, Finnish is a language where you we pronounce every every uh, letter syllable all the way through. So it's it's the Spanish is so the same similar, yeah. same thing. Yeah, similar. Yeah. So English, well, English is a tricky word, a yes. tricky language for people to learn because there's a lot yeah. of letters that just disappear somewhere. Yeah. That or or use really the O. O is you. There's more added. Yeah. Um, and then, so next up, I have to lift it up on my fingers and start kind of mm -hmm. stretching, stretching it. But out. these are small pizzas. These so are small pizzas. So we're only, small pizza. only, yeah, we're just going to go for like a quick sort of 10, uh, 10 inch here. How many pizzas do you bake per day? Uh, <laughs> I make pizza probably about three or four times a week. Uh, uh -huh. Usually it's at least one day a week weekend uh, with the family uh -huh. and you're not tired of pizza at all no no <laughs> and then at the office we've always got pizza yeah pizza dough balls ready to go so yes uh, but at the beginning when you started with the oven I, I think you might have baked thousand pizzas per day <laughs> no I, I think I do genuinely make more pizzas these days than I, yeah? than I did back then <laughs> I, was, uh, now there's uh, I think just because we've got pizza dough balls available every day, every so day, so much, so much easier than back then. Let's so not waste things. all these balls. Let's bake them yeah, and then make them into pizza. Absolutely. We have in the product development team. We have this thing called uh, ten pizza test, ah. where every product throughout its phases of being developed is done run through a ten pizza test, where we take ten pizzas and we see a Neapolitan style pizzas and we see how quickly can we bake them. Uh, so we look at the heat, uh, we get the oven to maximum temperature, we look at the time it takes to bake for the pizza itself, the stone recovery time and all these things. So you know, that's how we benchmark the oven, Oof. so how 
Interesting how we uh, get them get them ready. Here we go. All yes. Right. Now I think, think we need some good. Yeah. Tomato sauce. Some, uh, tomato sauce. Italian tomato sauce. Yes. So. Do you like to crush also the tomato sometimes with your hands? Yeah, I usually use, uh, at, at home I usually use... Uh, San Marzano. Marzano yeah. kind of tomatoes that are uh, just uh, uncrushed, so I've got yeah. by crusting. With your hands, yeah. It's, it's um, some Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Just as made in Kerbo, just with the tomato, it smells beautiful. Mozzarella, fior di latte. It's only early today, so it's it's not even 12, so this is going to be like a snack size <laughs> brunch pizza for us. Incredible. And, yeah. So I, I follow... In this you're really Italian, because you didn't put too much cheese. Yeah. You always give the, you get that comment, oh, so why that little cheese? So yeah. you should put more cheese. No, but because the secret is, is everything, no? The, 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 the crust, the sauce, the... the the, the cheese, it's not just eating cheese. Not just cheese, it's all all these things in balance. Together, yes. Um, and here we go, all right. I think we're good to go, so. And also the, the basil, there's there's the, there's one side that they would like to put the basil after the oven oh, and yes. or before going to the I, oven. I fall on the side that I put, I put my basil in before baking, so. I, I do that too, way, when way like we it. bake at high temperature. Maybe yeah. when you bake at lower temperature, then I put it after yeah. okay. baking. Good. So we have the oven oh, preheated. Preheated, yeah. At four, Ready almost four, 450 go. centigrades. One of our thermometers here where, but just... Yeah, the stone, it's key to have the, the stone yeah. preheated. Good. The best part. <laughs> All right, now we watch it, watch it bake in front of our eyes. So I try and get a first, first spin of the pizza as early as possible here. Uh -huh. As the, we've got a fire at the back here, and uh, so that's where we have most of the heat. So to make sure that we get an even cook on the on the crust, on the condizione here, try and get a spin or turn the pizza around by 180 as soon as, as soon as possible. So good. So start. Easing it off the uh, yes, off the base here. Here we go. Get a color on the neck. It's looking good. Go. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. Let me check in Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah, we can jump over. So about fifty percent of our customers are in the, in the US. Uh -huh. So Fahrenheit, of course, is yeah, is used there. So it's important to be able to switch. Plus the numbers look really a lot bigger when you're in Fahrenheit. So it looks like yeah, you're in very high temperatures. Yeah, <laughs> we use centigrade too, yeah. and I always have to change in between Fahrenheit and centigrade. To yeah, you learn learn to do them. Yeah, ah, Oof. Quickly, quickly looking here. gorgeous. Are you sure you're not Italian? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I've made a lot of pizzas. <laughs> um, so what's not to love? Like, this is, it's, it's nothing better than just staring yeah, at the yeah. fire, fire and watching pizza cook in front of your eyes. I like mine quite well done. Uh, yeah. So I think that a lot of people would have pulled this out by now. No, no, it's okay. Uh, I like it with a bit of yeah. color. Most of the people would say, oh, it's burned, it's burned. No, it's not burned. Oh, good. Right. Here we go. Wow, go. beautiful pizza. Thank you. So now, <laughs> should we cut it and have a have a taste? Yes, of course. Let's do that. All right. So here we go and perfect See. slices. <laughs> Great. All right. This is... Oh yes, this is very Neapolitan. It's falling. Falls, yeah. Yeah. Falls like that. Have so to. We should have. Nice and forks for this, but we can. No, we did the Neapolitan style. Like Finnish style. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. All right. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Are you sure not, you're not Neapolitan? Mm. I'm going to move to Neapolitan. <laughs> yeah, Naples. One day. One oh. day I'll move there. Mm. Mm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> About cutting, what do you think about cutting a pizza with the scissors? Um, 
I think it's alright. I don't do it myself, but mm-hmm. uh, I think it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. A, a lot of people do it. I've seen Neapolitans mm-hmm. uh, doing it well. Maybe so. because they want to preserve the cornichon in the ear, yeah, not to crush it. You don't crush it and pinch mm-hmm. it down, so sharp scissors will go through it kind of yes. neatly. So if you, it's the best way if you want to see the see yeah, the air in yeah, the air pockets there. Well, so thank you, Christian. It's been an honor to have this pizza with you here at the Uni headquarters in Scotland. So you know you can write some comments here as usual. Like this video, share it, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks very much for having me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take one more slice. <laughs>Espero que hayas disfrutado y te hayas interesado, como a mí me parece, en este fascinante mundo de la masa madre. Así que si tenés ganas de continuar con esto y seguir profundizando en el tema, te invito a que participes del curso completo de panes con masa madre, donde te voy a enseñar a hacer una masa madre y el mejor pan casero. Puedes hacerlo acá en el link de esta página. Espero verte muy pronto horneando esas nuevas recetas.